But, you know, Braxton is starting to throw a little bit more. He's starting to get a little more healthier. But I think he'll be ready. So, you know, what do they want us to do? We're going to do it to the best of our ability. You may have answered this already, but how is Marcus different from year one to year two? Um, he's matured. He had a lot. He has a lot of issues his first year. Um, you know, which you know, he came from California, so might have felt a little homesick. You know, you really don't know what's going on. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I think he's um, he's kind of opened up a lot more, and with that. Um, he's been a lot more honest, and just because of that, um, he's been doing a lot, uh, a lot better on the field. Um, he understands the offense more. He's, uh, he's asking more. He's getting more involved in the meetings, like asking questions, stuff. And uh, I think it's part of. He's looking up to me and Jeff, and sees the culture in that room, and he understands uh, what we expect in the tight end room, and uh, he's adapted really well to that. Nick, it, the uh, you probably got asked this ten times before I got here, but. With Jeff being sort of like limited in preseason, things like that, uh, and even in the spring, how have you seen your game sort of blossom, I guess, in the last six months? I mean, I saw it was a great opportunity to step up. And, uh, you know, we had a speaker come in the other day, and, you know, he talked about the same thing. Um, you know, I might not be able to do very well, but once all you got to do is give me that little door of opportunity. I'm going to take advantage of that. And that's kind of what I did. And I just wanted to prove to these coaches that, you know, I, I can make plays. I can do the stuff that Jeff does out here. And uh, I think they took note of that. And so once Jeff gets back, I think we can, uh, I mean, it's unlimited what we can, what they can do with us on the field together. So do you UFC, think they will? Do you, do you get the sense that that's going to happen, that they are going to utilize? I think so. I mean, yeah, we had plans that we were going to, well, the first day we were going to install a lot of 12 personnel. But, you know, with Jeff having issues with his foot, um, you know, obviously we couldn't do that. So I know it's in the plan. We just got to get Jeff healthy. Nick, was that speaker of the UFC fighter? Was that who you're referring to? Yeah, yeah. Yep, Sean or Shab. Yeah. 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 What does it mean to have two that you can be able to step in? You got two quality tight ends on a team like this that are almost interchangeable. Oh, I mean, I mean, I, I feel like it's just a coach's dream come true. And it's not just the tight ends. I mean, it's it's also the receivers too. We have a lot of threats, um, you know, in the slot receiver, Jalen Marshall, Dontre Wilson. Um, you got Devin Smith, Michael Thomas, Corey, Corey uh, Smith, all those guys on the perimeter. And it's just, um, man, it's just when you got a group like that, it's, 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 I mean, it's almost like, what can you do? I mean, what, you know what I mean? It's like, what can you do with that? Like, I mean, you can do, you can do so much with that, like a group like that.